back to the channel. Miss Crochet and Coffee here, and today we're doing something a little bit different. We're in a little different setting. Things are a little bit different. That's okay. Different is good. Different is good. So today we're doing a framing video. That's right, framing. So I have tools I need, a hammer, tape just in case, and some skizzers. So we're going to put this stuff off to the side. And the frame I got will pop up on your screen. I, of course, will have it linked down below. Do keep in mind that because I am an influencer with Amazon, that any links that I link using my Amazon influencer, I will make a small commission. So thank you in advance if you decide to use that link. So here is everything that came with that frame. So now all we need is a canvas. White tiger. Yes. So the canvas frame... I got should be a 50 by 50 it should fit a 50 by 50 and as you guys know white tiger was a 51 by 51 centimeter so what we're going to do is we're going to just jump right on into this it gives you a bag of all the tools and stuff that you need all the little pieces that go with it so we're going to try this out okay now I've never tried this out like this before so we're going to try this out. So first things first, one, the back of this is gross. Don't judge me. So we're just going to lay this out on here like this. And essentially you want to lay it out where, uh, oh, this is going to be much better. You want to lay it out where you can see the border of the diamond painting. So we're going to push that out just a little bit. Just a little bit like this and like this. Is this going to work? All right. So first things first, you want to measure to make sure that your the frame you got is going to fit. So you want to just make sure it's perfect right where you want it because these are stuck on with 3M, uh, the 3M sticky tack. So we're just going to make sure that it measures good all the way around. And it does. So then what you do, on the back of it, it has the 3M paper. So I'm just going to peel that off and it is super tacky. We're just gonna peel that off. And you wanna make sure the adhesive stays on the, the wood because it was trying to come up there. And it should come off nice and easy. Just like that, we're gonna throw that on the floor. And then we're just gonna keep those two there to measure it just to make sure it goes where it needs to go. Boom. And then if you need to replace it, you can move it. You just don't wanna move it too much because you don't want that sticky to become unsticky. And you just do that all the way around. All right. Then once you have it on there, you are going to have to cut this. Now, they recommend cutting it at a 45 degree angle and then making a slit down the middle. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a slit down the middle because there's not much left hanging off the sides. If you have a whole lot late hanging off the sides, I can understand it, but I'm going to snip off just the corners just so there's not that much hanging off in the middle. So you're just going to snip some of it off on the sides and then make that slit down the middle where the frame meets let me make sure you guys can see what I'm doing because I'm way over here. I'll, I'll, I'll get you back on this side. And so what you're going to do, if you look right here, you're just going to cut at a 45 degree angle and then you're going to make a slit down the middle and between the two bars. And then what we're going to do, we're going to fold this up like this. Because the edges of those is tacky as well. And then we're going to fold it up like this. And 
And that's when you pull out the little tool kit that they give you. And in your tool kit, they'll have stuff for mounting it on the wall and everything else. But it also comes with these. Now, these are the nails that are going to hold it shut. So you're going to need these. So that when you lift it up, now let me make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. I don't want you just sitting here doing it for my own help. All right. So when you lift it up, you will see there's a little hole right there. You see it? Hold on, let me zoom you in. All right. So right in there, you see that little slit? That's where your nail is going to go. So we're going to bring this, we're going to pull that as tight as we can up. And then we're going to bring this up. And on both sides of that, it's going to have the hole. So you just put the nail in the hole. And it's going to pull it tight. So you might have to use a little bit of force. And I can just push that down in there. Then we're going to spin. We're going to make sure it's up nice and taut. We're going to fold it up. Just like that. We're going to use another nail. And again, you're going to find those holes. Oh, sorry. Zoomed in again. And then you're just going to put it in the holes. And if you need to, use your hammer. Side, so I got to make sure everything on both sides is lined up good. Again, get your nail or whatever this is. I, I'm guessing it's a nail. You're going to find the holes on the side here on both pieces of wood. And you're going to put it in there. You want to press it down. Then if it won't press down, that's when you get your hammer out. Be very careful. So you're going to find those holes. All right, now you can either trim this down, but then when you're finished, ta-da, look at that. And then you can just hang it up on the wall. And if you want, if the, the white part bothers you, you can get some washi tape and decorate that outside part. But there you have it, stretch canvas framed white tiger. And then in that little bag, of tools that you get is all the stuff that you could possibly need to hang it up on the walls but before we do that it does come with these little side adjusters here as well and you just put these in and you push it and this helps keep it taut and just put those on the four corners you should have gotten four of those. Oop, I bumped you. You guys know Miss Coffee likes everything simple. 
We're just going to hit that in there a couple of times just to make sure it's in there nice and good. Boom. And again, if this part bothers you, if it's showing, you can either paint over that or get some washi tape. But there you have it your stretch canvas. Doesn't that look freaking amazing? Now, the reason why I didn't do it the whole way around and I only did it like this is because this is a partial. And because it's a partial, I don't want those diamonds too far on the outside. Uh, I can do this again with another full kit, which I think I'm going to now that I see that the frame works and is super easy to put together. So there you have it. Again, get some washi tape, cover up those, those side pieces because again, like I could have cut that down a little bit more right there, but it'll hide all that white spots or you can get it a little bit smaller. If I had to suggest probably three centimeters smaller than what you need, I went one centimeter. So I would say at least between three to five centimeters smaller than what you originally need. If you want it to fully wrap around, I just wanted this to stretch like this. And then I'm going to probably try to find some washi tape to put on the sides and I will have a finished look for you as soon as I do that. But there you have it, folks. There is my stretch canvas for White Tiger. If you guys have any other questions, comments, concerns, please leave those down in the comments section below. This literally only took me 12 minutes. Simple, easy, and the frame was very inexpensive. So yeah, I would highly recommend. Go ahead and go over and get yourself a frame. Let's get these things stretched. And you folks have a wonderful day. If, you have any, if you're new to the channel and would like to see more random crazy videos just like this one, please feel free to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified anytime I randomly decide to put up a video. And believe me, it's random. But with that said, folks, thank you so much for watching. And I must now bid you adieu. But not before reminding you, like I always try to. Be kind. Ooh, ooh. Be courteous. Be cool. Bye, guys.